here today at Nerd Mimic, we are going to play a game of Vampire Hunter, the game. And this is the game that transforms right before your eyes. And what you see in the day turns frightful at night. So we do have to play this in the dark. And I already tested this out and the camera looks like it'll capture the video uh, with the lights off. So, uh, so let's get started. The game is already set up here for two players. And we'll just read the little intro here. And it says, Dracus looked out his tower window to the ocean crashing down below. Where is that ship, he muttered. These vampire hunters never give up. They become more determined every century. The 875-year-old vampire then paused. I sense their presence outside my tower. The zombies and werewolves should delay them for a while, but I must escape soon. For a little while. That's right. So we got the tower here, and we got the player characters here. I will be this Indiana Jones clone, and my daughter will be this adventurer, female adventurer with a torch. We got the ship here set on icon round eight, as this is for a two player game. If it got four players, it goes down to 10. Three players, you set it at nine. And depending on what the cards show, here, you move the ship, and as it get closer to the top, if the ship gets all the way up to the top before you encounter the vampire, the vampire escapes. So, the game is set to first uh, draw a card, then you resolve any uh, statements on the card. After that, you uh, move your character based on your role on this white dice here. There are multiple tokens here. These cannot be uh, jumped over. You will need to stop at each of these tokens. These tokens are set to their normal side up and they have a special uh, ink on the other side for doing either weapons or monsters. Uh, so the goal is to accumulate weapons enough to defeat the vampire there at the top. Everyone starts off with a clove of garlic and you need to find a stake and a sword as well. And then once you reach the vampire, you have to defeat him with each three of the weapons. Now, um, we will show you how this works, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll get more into the details of battle later. Are you ready to turn out the light? Well, let's turn on the tower light first. Yes. Wait. Oh. All right. So red. Yeah. We'll set it to daytime first. Okay. So we can see here, and it got a wonderful glow. And the player that uh, the person that owns the game goes first. So I guess this is a fancy, kind way of saying the older person <laughs> goes oh. first. Because uh, you will probably have to do battle first and maybe clear the way for okay. the younger one. But this is a competitive game. It's a little odd, right? Where it would be cooler if we could play cooperatively to defeat the vampire. But okay. I guess uh, we want to be the hero. All right. So I will go first. So I'm going to draw a card. And this card says... Change to night. Change to night. That's right. So I am going to push on the tower here. And Rips. it will now Rips. cast a blue light. Then I will roll my movement dice here. And this here a six. is a six. So if this, turn it to red for a second. In a daytime, it would be an eight, but it's nighttime. Fancy. So because it's at night, the blue light is denoting night. I guess I move slower because it is dark. So. I'm going to take my character here, and I need to go all the way around this board in a C shape to Dracula, or Dracus there. So I'm just going to go straight here. I'm going to pause right here. Okay. Now, anytime you're stopped and you're adjacent to any tiles, both next to you or up above and below you, you have to flip all those tiles mm -hmm. over. Not the one diagonal. So this one here reveals a 
sword. sword. So I'm going to put that in my collection here. That's great. Now you have a garlic and a sword. And now you only need yes. a steak. But here I have to flip this tile. It's a steak! Wow, I got lucky. So I got both. Ooh. All right, so that is my round. Okay, so it is your turn. So you draw a card. And Change to night. It's already night. It's already night, so the ship will not move. You can roll your dice. A five. What would it be if it was daytime? It would be a seven. Okay, okay five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I can flip this one over. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. Okay, that means you have to roll the battle dice, which okay. is the black dice, and get a hit. A skull. A skull. That means you lost the battle, and you have to go back to the start of that area. Okay, so it's my turn, and I have to draw a card. And this card says... Change to night. Change to night. Okay, so it is still night, and I will roll my movement dice. Where did it go? Here it is. And this is a five. five. So I cleared the path. Now that I got the tile out of the way, I can move through the area. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to stop by this tile for a raven. I flip it over. And it is a, a werewolf. werewolf. So I have to do battle. Okay. Yeah. And roll this dice. It's a skull? Is it a skull? It is a skull. Okay. That means I, well, I'm stuck at the entrance <sighs> here. So I you guess know, I don't really have to move. Do this. Okay, I can move back one. That's fair enough. Okay, That's your turn. You draw a card. Change to night. Okay, so we've seen that it's card before. Night. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six. You can't move diagonally. That's right, you cannot. So I'm going to draw a card. Oh, you are actually next to a token, so you got to flip oh, okay. that over. It's a sword. Yay. Okay. All right, you can add that to collection. I'm going to draw a card. And this one says, change the day. Advance the ship one. All right, so you can push the day, the, the button for the day. And then we are gonna advance this ship here to seven here. All right. And now this nighttime monster that was here, the werewolf, was down here? Yeah. Okay. Wait, he's still a werewolf. He's still a wolf. Yep, I still have to do battle with him. All right, but uh, that's only if I stop at that location. Okay. I guess we had to tell them wrong location. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna roll the movement dice, and it is a seven. A little bit easier to read and see with red light. And I'm gonna move. Say one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I'm gonna go all the way here. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if I could get into the shortcut, I could bypass all these uh, dangerous ravens. Okay. But that's only if it stays daytime. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Your turn to draw a tile, a uh, card. Day. Day. Nice. Stays day. It's a seven. A seven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a man. So, it's a villager. But at night, he might turn into a werewolf, right? He will not. Okay, so it's my turn to draw a card. And this is day. Advance the ship. Okay, the ship still moves up. So, now it's six mm. turns away. Six and turns away. potentially. And I get to roll the movement dice. I got seven. a seven. So I am going to jump in the shortcut here. One, One, then teleport over there, or crawl through the tunnel, I suppose. One, and then two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna go all the way there. Mm -hmm. I have to flip over the skull token, and it's a mist. It's a vampire. Well, it's a mist right now, so it's daytime and safe. So, okay. all right, your turn to draw a card. Advance the ship. Yes. Okay. It says day advance the ship. So. Hang on. I will advance the ship for okay. you. It's now up to five. You and I roll the dice. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's a six. Yep. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Okay, yeah, that's it. Um, good way to backtrack and use the tunnel. Okay. And there's opportunities to get a sword later, right? I have a stick. I need a stick. Yes. No, you have a stick, you need a sword, you mean? No. Or you have this a sword, a you sword. need a stick. Okay. So this one, oh, this one says change tonight. Mm. So I changed it to nighttime. And this it's a mist vampire. turns into a vampire. Yeah, you can sort of see him there. Now, because I did not end my turn there, I could actually run away from him, so I do not have to do battle with him. Mm -hmm. So I can roll my dice and just go try to make my way to the vampire coffin. So this is a six, and I'm gonna move up one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna avoid the web so I don't get stuck there. But All there's right. a skull. Ah, yes, there is a skull here. I have to flip it over. Oh, it's another uh, weapon. But I don't a need stick. it. I need a stick. Well, I will leave it there for you. Yay. Okay, now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Change the night. Sorry Change the night. Sorry, night. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Flip this over. I don't need a stick. I already have a stick now. Yay! So you have all three? Yeah. Okay. And right. I can make one away. All right. So I'm going to draw a card. And it still stays nighttime. I'm going to roll the new dice. And this is a six here. And I will move up six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I will move up all the way here. And I do not need to flip over in time any tokens, but I will eventually, because okay. there's no way I could go here unless I bypass one of these tokens. So I will have to have a counter somewhere down the line. Okay. All right. You draw a card, show everyone the card. Change the day. Okay, change the day. Advance the ship one. And bonds the ship. Okay. Boom. However, I'm getting really close to his coffin. Okay, let me roll the dice. It's an eight! Yep. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, you can't okay. end up on top of me. So I you do not have to move exactly eight. You can move anything eight or less. So okay. that was good use of the shortcut. All right. So it is my turn to flip over a card and we got change the night. So it's gonna be night. And then I roll the movement dice. It is a six, but basically I'm going to have to end up at one of these tokens. So I don't want to end up here. That means I have to flip over two tokens. So I'm just going to end up here to flip, up, flip over one. And it is a wolf. Uh, probably a werewolf. Okay. So I will need to roll the battle dice to get rid of that token. And it is, what, a skull? I think it's a skull. I did not do it. Ooh. Yeah, so I had to leave this area, recover. All right, it's your turn. Okay. So maybe you get to be the hero. Maybe I'll get a day. No, it's not a day. What, what did you get, night? I got a night. It's okay. just changed night. Yeah. It's already just tell us so, we, so the people on the camera know too, okay? okay. You show us what you got. Six. Six, okay. Okay. One, two, do I have to fight him? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Hit! You got a hit? Powie, powie! So a hit looks like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Do so I now, keep going? No. Okay. It's the uh, end of your turn. It is my turn. 
So flip over a card, and what do we got? Night time still. Roll the different dice. Roll the and it is a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so close. Okay, it is your turn. Okay. Show us the card you get. Knights. Knights, okay. Six. Okay, so definitely you're gonna be able to pack his coffin. One, two, three. Okay, four. now before we flip him over, uh, I should say if it is daytime and you reach coffin, you automatically turn into night. Okay. So it is already night, so we get to flip his, uh, reveal his coffin there. And you can see him lying in repose there, but he will wake up and defend himself. So you get to attack him and you have to defeat him with all three weapons. Okay. So which weapon are you going to use first? Um, here, I have this one. Mistake. Okay. And all the weapons are basically the same. They don't have any plus mm -hmm. ones or plus twos or anything. So you just need to roll three hits in a row, basically. A skull! A skull. All right. So even though you failed with that stake, you get to keep that stake. Okay. However, you have to go back to the entrance of oh, this no. crypt area. All right. There we go. All right. So it is my turn. And now that we reached his coffin, we do not have to draw any more cards, and he cannot escape. So it's going to stay night, and no matter what I roll, I'm going to be able to reach him. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to attack him with my, uh, I'm going to use my clove of garlic first. Okay, because vampires don't like garlic. And I got a skull as well. <laughs> that means I have to go back to the entrance as well, and it is now your turn. Okay. So now here rolling the dice for a lunar might make a difference. See if he actually reaches coffin. What did he get? A four. A four. Oh, I think you're a little short. One, two, three, four. All right. It's my turn. I'm going to roll. Is it a four? Two? It is a five. So one, oh, two, three, see. four, five. Yes, I get to reach him. All right, I'm gonna roll with my garlic attack, and I get a hit this time. Ooh. So I take my garlic token, and I'm gonna put it at the foot of his coffin here. Ooh. I'm gonna attack with my stake, and I got a skull. So I fail that, I have to go back to the entrance as well. Okay, now it is your turn. No matter what you roll, you're gonna be able to get there. You four get your stake, I gotta keep my stake, that is correct. Okay. So move your uh, figure. You don't need to roll, it's okay because you know it's gonna be four or more, anyways. Six. My doodle. Okay. And you're gonna attack with your stake. Stake. And roll for your attack value. Okay. It's a hit. It's a hit. Where's the stake? Here. Here's the stake. I'll put it in a different pile because this is uh, once over again competitive, so you okay. have to be able to kill him with all three of your weapons. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit odd, right? Mm -hmm. A hit again! I just need to get one last one. And the last one's the garlic. Okay. Roll over here so we, everyone can see, okay? Thank you. A hit! I win! <laughs> okay. I got three hits in a row! Okay, so you put your weapon there. And you know what happens? What? Then we turn it to daytime, right? Mm -hmm. So turn the light to day, and we'll see the vampire defeated, and he has withered away into bones. So that is a cool way to end the game, right? <laughs> Pretty thing, man, like, uh, uh, for Halloween. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, want to turn on the light? Thank you. All right, everybody. So, once again, that has been a run through of Vampire Hunter. Hopefully you enjoyed it, found that interesting. A pretty simple game. I think we might make some house rules to make it cooperative, but, uh, but enjoyable nonetheless. So pretty cool to have that little tower in the middle. Got the board that changes uh, tokens and
clues and traps and shortcuts depending on the time of day. What happens night. if you get in a trap? I never got in a trap. And you get stuck. You can't move. And then it uh, switches to the other player. Okay. Well, yeah, that's a good question. I didn't explain that on um, the how to play part. All right. So thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great night. And don't let those vampires bite.